All right. So this one we are looking at a dice roll. Uh, in Kickstarter, we're looking at rolling different dices, and the reason I've done that is um, <coughs> it's, it's a thing that's called combination versus permutation. I'm not going to bore you to death. It's in university level math. So it's basically saying that um, or the reason that they've given different colors to those dice is so that you can understand that having, say, one, two, three, four is not the same as having um, four, three, two, one uh, without going into that too much. Anyway, so let's just start off with the question. So it says Ali rolled three dice, one of each color. How many different possible outcomes are there? Right? Well, Similarly to our coin toss question, hopefully you've done that one first. If not, I would recommend you give that one a go because that sort of leads into this. We have a bit of a sample space here. So we're looking at the white dice, the green dice, and the orange dice. Right? And I don't want to do this whole sample space, and you'll see why in a moment, um, is that essentially I'm doing. Dice could be one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And then the gold can just be one and one that whole way, and they are all possible outcomes. And I'm going to have to repeat that a whole bunch of times. So the reason I'm not going to write out the whole sample space is because you're going to see exactly how huge this is. But what we can see is that the white dice has a one in chance um, <clears throat> of rolling a particular number, same with the green die, same with the orange die. So we go from having, so rather than writing out this sample space, I can multiply all these top ones and get one over all these bottom ones. So six times six is 36 times six again is 216 if I've done that right. You can see why I didn't want to write that out, right? Because then I would have to write out a sample space of 216 possibilities, which is just insane. Um, that's that. That's how many possible outcomes there are. And again, this, this is four dice. All you're doing is one over six times one over six times one over six times one over six, which equals one over and it's whatever six times this is. So it's 1296, I think. 1296. I may have fucked that up, but hopefully not. All right. Says if the two, if these two roll their dice together, how many different possible outcomes are there? So now, if he's got a one in 216 chance and she has a one in 1296 chance. I'm just multiplying these numbers together, and that is far too big for my simple brain. So I'm going to load up my calculator very quickly. I do the one times one bit. That's an easy. And if I go 216 multiplied by 1296, there are the number of different possible outcomes are. 279,336. Right? And every chair, every thing combination has that exact probability. One in 279,936. Um, but similarly to before, we have the sort of solution that we can solve with a cool rule. So again, the number of dice that are being rolled in this case. And keep in mind, this is an extension, so I don't think you need to <coughs> fully grasp this, but we have the number of dice is equal to 1 over 6 to the power of the number of dice. All right? So the, the, the probability of rolling the dice, I should say. All right? So in this case, when it was 3, it was 6 to the power of 3, you know, 6. In this case, it's seven. The six to the power of seven is 279,936. Um, yeah, I just think that that is cool. Hopefully you enjoy that.